happy Saturday. I hope everybody is having a blessed Saturday and everything. We are going to do uh, tuna tetarzini. And I wanted to give you guys an update of what I looked like before because we have newcomers. This is what Elvira looked like at 310 pounds. And this is what I look like now. I've had no surgeries. I just walk out. And I'm in baggy clothes, but that's because I've been working today and cooking in the kitchen, getting my food prepped for next week so that I'm able to eat. So when I get home from work, I just got to put it in there. Be done. And also, my first book is coming out, Elvira's Healthy Cooking. This book is when I first started, okay? This is what I looked like before and there and stuff. And uh, it's we've grown, this is a proof copy. We should be up for our sale on Amazon probably in another week or so. And this is when I first started. When I first started, I was really fat, as you can see. I did like 310 pounds. And so I was just counting calories because there was just no other way to do it. As I got farther into it, that's when I was able to do different things and be able to do things. Well, now I've learned how to count the carbs, the calories, proteins, and I do pretty good. And I'm able to stay in my realm. When I travel, I pack my own food. Uh, I'll pack stuff that doesn't need a cooler and I make sure because if I don't I get sick and I'll try to chew gum or something it makes my stomach all messy and I don't like that so I have learned to implement this way of life into my everyday life and we are going to use some frozen this is a for our tetzazzini now I don't bake this excuse me I don't bake um, this is done on the stove oh I'm sorry my nose is itching excuse me and it's great it's really tasty and just a lot of prep it takes longer to prep than to cook it so we've got some frozen peas and carrots we've got some fresh parsley mint garlic spinach mushrooms onion celery carrots tomatoes and it's yummy we're also going to use a half a cup of milk we're going to use a, a container of homemade broth we're going to use some flour some cornstarch um, some two tablespoons of country crop and four cans of tuna and some noodles. So it's pretty yummy um, and stuff. And I use I, I use things to, uh, you know, do it. And I do the, you can bake it if you want to do the breadcrumbs, but I don't because I actually cook the veggies and stuff like that. And that's how I do it. So we're gonna take our pan here and we're gonna start chopping away. And I had good workouts this week. Um, and when I did the book, you'll see that you can see it's for a beginner and and I am not afraid to say that I was a beginner at it because we all start at the bottom okay that's just how it works and I started out at the bottom like everybody else and when I did the book I was like okay this is just for a beginner and then as you get into it that's when I started doing the show I thought my friend's like you know what she uh, says you should do a show she says a lot because she says a lot of people would like to see what you've done and yes Okay, I do have big clothes on right now, but that's okay. I'm down um, to a size 10, and I have had no surgeries. Uh, I do work out, and I do eat, you know, I've had no excess skin. Um, it's, I've been very blessed. Is it hard to do? Yeah. I wouldn't want to do this again. I used to come home and cry, and I would be crying, and I would be just so upset with myself, you know, and I would just get mad. Because who wants to be fat? But that's just how, that's just how it happened. And I also brown, I also get my vegetables cooked in some broth, the homemade broth. That's how I do it. And we got some sweet peppers we put in there too. They're in there somewhere. Because it's going to take us probably four videos because I only have the 15 minute thing for YouTube and stuff. So. Clean 
more peppers off, but that's okay. I forgot to add them. That's okay. I always do that. them out so I remember. These are great in this tuna thing. Yeah. And I even put some tomatoes in there. So I load my tetrazzini up instead of just tuna and noodles or tuna cheese and that. I put veggies in it, honey. I love my vegetables and I love a good vegetable. I knew I was forgetting something. I've already got to sleep in yesterday to get my sleep, so it's going to be another hectic week. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. In another month or two, I should be okay, and I won't be so stressed out at my job. So, But with me having my stressful job, I will say this much. My workouts help me a lot because I'm able to maintain. I do get to be a loose cannon, but... We have unique seasonings too. I'm excited for my book because I think that people will see that I started out just like you did, you know. Everybody, we have to start somewhere, and uh, that's what I did. I just realized, you know, and then when I was doing it back then, I was just trying to count the calories, you know, because I was just to the point where I was just giving up on myself. But I just kept praying to God and the angels, you know, I'd get through it, and somehow I'd make it through, and I did. And where I'm at today, I love it. Um, it's great. You know, you get to do a lot of different things, and it's fun. Once you get healthy, you'll see the difference. You'll have energy, and then you'll have be able to do all kinds of things that you couldn't do before. Or things that you used to do that you couldn't do, and now you can't. Like when you make stuff you can make anything you want and just add vegetables to it you know you, you don't have to stick to a recipe i change it i even change the seasoning so even when i do my taco sauce because that's what i'm doing i had made burritos and i think i'll show you because i finally got the recipe to go 100 percent the way i wanted it the other day so i was like i'll share that sometime One day I'll get that stand. Mm -hmm. 
pretty. I hope everybody stayed healthy this week, and I hope you worked out, and I hope you're trying to lose that weight. I mean, I know I can do it. You can do it. And you just make it a part of your life. It's not easy at first, but as you get better at it, that's when it gets really fun. Once you get once you get through the hard part, the hard part is just staying into it, and the hard part is getting to a point where um, it's easy to, you know, I guess for me to say it is, it's the hard part when you have to uh, try to do all that all the time. And, you know, you're overweight, and in my case, I was just fat. And you can't do stuff. That's where it gets you because it's really hard on you. And to get to that point where you need to be sometimes is really hard. But it can be done. And I have really good trainers. I mean, I don't always like to do stuff. But I pulled, I had to, this week I missed one day. And that was because I had to go get my truck fixed. I have warranty work done, so. My warranty work had to be done on my truck. Okay. I think we'll break here. And we'll break here, and then I'll be back, and then we'll keep on chopping our veggies, get them getting ready to saute them and stuff. So I will be back soon. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Bye.